Well, hello. Welcome back to a Tail Three Cabins. Normally, I like to do mindless work on the tractor, digging ditches and stumps out, and using the loader and just dumping stone. And that's pretty mindless. There's not a lot of thought involved. But today is a different story. I do have some thought involved, and uh, I'm getting ready to put in some drain pipe, and I want to do this right. So come check it out. Just did a dry fit of the PVC pipe just to kind of see how it's going to play out here and where I'm going to end up digging my trench and if I'm going to have enough room to kind of double up the pipe here around the front. I want my trench to be somewhat close to the pole barn but not too close but it's going to be kind of cumbersome with JD and the outriggers. If you look, I only have the one outrigger down now, just trying to get closer in and uh, make it easier, straighter trench, but it's almost like I should probably just left both outriggers up. Now if you're wondering how I figured out how deep to go, if you remember I put a drain in the center of the pole barn and I ran that pipe before the concrete was poured and that 28 inches is just a random figure off of the laser level, off of the measuring device and I know that I want to be at least 5 inches above that in this back corner here and then 2 inches above 28 inches in the other corner. Once I get to the 28 inch mark with the trench, I want to be basically zero. I want to be even with that 28 inch mark. I also want to take an account for maybe laying gravel down. So five inches plus maybe three inches of gravel. So I want to be about eight inches higher compared to that 28 inch mark. And I'll continue that pitch for the 28 inch mark. So I'll be going deeper as I get into the woods. when it comes to digging a trench like this for the specific purpose I'm using it for it's actually better to even go a little bit deeper and it's easier to fine-tune that trench by just bringing some dirt back in with a rake. It's much easier to put dirt back in than it is to dig it out by hand with a shovel. When you're digging especially when you're hitting roots and some large rocks, it, inevitably the backhoe is going to shift the whole tractor around and my outriggers have kind of tucked underneath the pole barn here. It's 
still a little too tight, I'm just going to use the backhoe to pivot the tractor over a little bit. The trench that I've dug out so far is going to have the perforated pipe in it and that's basically going to be like a drain tile. Kind of catch the, the flow of water which comes from our front yard towards the pole barn. I'm going to start making a left hand turn here and then I'm also going to have a downspout right there where I'm going to have to tie in for a gutter. And I'm going to keep both of those pipes separate until I clear the other side of the pole barn and head for the woods. If I remember right when I built my house they said that your pitch had to be a quarter inch for every 10 feet of pipe. Around the pole barn here I'm just going one inch for every 10 feet of pipe. I thought this was a good idea at the time that I could just keep going straight and make a nice even trench, but I don't think it's going to work. I envisioned bad things happening and decided not to do it.
I've got most of the pipes tied in together now. I got the gutters all tied together with the drain coming from the pole barn. I have that drain tile running to the right of that pipe there, and all I have to do is tie the two together and head for the creek. But before I do that, to make things easier, I'm going to just start covering this all up so I can maneuver a little better with the tractor around here. Just a little note, if you plan on getting a tractor and you used to get loads of mulch or gravel and put a tarp underneath it, don't put a tarp underneath it anymore.
this is a good rough grade for now and when it we get a couple more rains and things settle a little bit I still have a large pile of dirt from when I first started clearing an area out that I can replace some of the soil and decide how to level it out the best way possible I've still got to connect those two pipes together and then start heading this way into the woods and then over a bit to the right towards the creek it's going to get a little bit of a pain with all the tree roots and I might have to take out a few trees also well I'm pretty good where we're at right now and I'm going to have to be because I'm out of pipe I've checked all the nearby stores, Home Depot, Menards, and none of them have the 10 foot sections that I need. So I'm going to try to pick up where we left off. I still have about another 30 or 40 feet to go through the woods here before I hit the creek. I still have to tie in the drain tile portion in with the uh, gutter portion. So still a lot to do. I'm hopefully going to find some pipe somewhere from, from somebody and uh, remedy this situation before the rain comes tomorrow, or at least somehow remedy the situation. I appreciate everybody watching these videos. Hope you subscribe and keep an eye on us. Take care everybody.